Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Terry. If you're new here, I really do appreciate you stopping by. Welcome to another prep and pack with me vlog. In today's video, I'm going to be packing for Walt Disney World. I'm very excited because we're actually going to be going to the parks this time. I'm a little bit nervous about there being no masks required, but we're going to play it safe, wear our masks, of course, and go to Magic Kingdom and Hollywood Studios. It's been a while. So it's gonna be extra special and magical. So it is Saturday today. We're leaving on Monday morning and we are road tripping to Disney because we are about three hours southwest of Orlando. So I'm not restricted to anything airplane friendly, which is nice, but I will be probably sharing a carry-on bag with my husband, Anthony, who's coming. Oh, and I thought I'd mention this mug that I'm drinking my tea out of. Isn't it the cutest? Unfortunately, it went into the dishwasher by accident and the decals are kind of coming off, but so cute. Now, I'm not gonna be doing all of my packing all right now. I'm probably going to be wearing makeup tomorrow and I don't wanna pack my makeup just yet. So I'm just gonna be doing the things that I know that I won't be needing, which mostly are clothes, my mini ear collection, the ones that I wanna bring and things like that. So let's get into showing you some of my Disney outfit ideas. Maybe you'll get some inspiration from them. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Thought it might be a good idea to check the weather real quick. So this is just Bay Lake, which is the area where Disney is. We arrive on the Monday, which will be, oh, by the way, this is all Celsius. So that is super hot. <laughs> 30 degrees Celsius is the high. And it looks like it is definitely going to rain. That's not a park day, which is good. <laughs> and then we've got Tuesday, which is 31, low 20, and also 90% rain. Okay, thank goodness. So Monday is actually 40% during the day. Tuesday, same kind of thing. So maybe we'll be in the clear, but again, super hot. Tuesday will be our Magic Kingdom day. And then Wednesday is our chill day, but I'm planning on meeting a friend who's coming from Canada to Florida that day, and we're going to get brunch, so it might be raining that morning. And then Thursday's Hollywood Studios. The thunderstorm is the only thing that worries me at night, but the park will close at nine, so maybe that 40% rain during the day and risk of thunder thunderstorm we can avoid. Okay, I laid everything out according to what I'm pretty sure I'm going to bring. First and foremost, I've got a rain jacket just folded up there because I know that I'm going to need it. So this is day one, our road trip to Disney day. I'm thinking comfortable biker shorts, either a sports bra or just this tank top underneath this spirit jersey, just to be a little bit more Disney and festive and also cozy in the car. But once we're there and it's like hot and we're out of the car, that's coming right off. I also am just putting this aside. These are the matching leggings for the sports bra. So I'm just putting it in there in case I want to just wear this outfit separate at night when it's a little cooler. I don't know. We'll see. And then we have our Magic Kingdom Day. I want to be cute and comfy on Magic Kingdom Day. And this dress is super comfortable and super cute. It's got these flowers on it. And I'm going to just put these beige shorts on underneath just to be a little more comfortable just in case the skirt flies up, you know can't have that. And then I guess I mixed it up a bit, but this is actually two days from this day. This is our Hollywood Studios day. I think this is what I'm going to wear. There are these green high-waisted paper bag shorts, and I haven't decided whether I'm going to wear this tank top with a bit more coverage or this one, which will probably show some skin just here. So I have to kind of try this outfit on and figure out whether it would look okay, but I'm going to bring both just in case because on the day that I'm going to brunch, I'm thinking of wearing this long skirt. It's got these two slits and then this is the tank top that I would wear with it possibly with a belt possibly without I might not wear this I've got this outfit that's just jean shorts and this little tank top with these daisies on it so either way I will be cute for brunch and finally I've got this black little mini dress if we go to dinner or something on one of our off days and I want to change I have that to change into and then of course pajamas I almost forgot a bathing suit so I'm gonna bring two black and a red one. They're both two pieces. All right, one 
one last thing to add is a sweater. I forgot to put this in my suitcase, but I remembered I wanted to, and it is a Disney themed one. It is a cast member sweater that I got when I was a cast member. So I'm gonna put that in my suitcase and then who knows, maybe a couple other pieces will land in there just as backup items. That's the gist of all the clothing. The real reason why I sat down was to share with you my mini ear collection. So I will go through all the ones I have and tell you which ones are my favorites. <laughs> this one is probably my absolute favorite. It is the rose gold ears. They're like a pretty pink color and sequins. They're kind of an older version. I think they have a newer one where the ears are a bit different, but I liked the original. The ears are more like pinched at the side now, which I don't like, and they're just like sparkly, whereas these ones are sequins, and it's got this nice little bow. It can get a little bit itchy. Mini ears kind of are kind of uncomfortable to wear for long periods of times for your ears, but I still love them. I'm gonna pack almost all my ears. This one's going in the suitcase for sure. And then one that I'm not bringing is this one. I've actually never worn these before. They still have the tag. They are the bride ears. And like I mentioned, the new style of ears are like this where they're pinched at the end and they're just sparkly. I got these because Anthony and I haven't had a big wedding. Anthony is my husband, if you're not aware. We got married in a very quick ceremony in 2021 in April and we're holding off for a bigger wedding once everything is a bit more safe and we can plan it out properly. We're gonna do the whole wedding thing, including a bachelorette party, and I'm hoping for it to be in Disney. And these are the years I will be wearing for my bachelorette party at least one of the days. I'm not gonna bring these for this trip, but they exist. Next up are a classic mini ear with the polka dots and the fuzzy ear parts. I think I also got these at Cast Connections as well as the rose gold ones. It's just a cast member store where things can be somewhat discounted. I believe I got these at a very good price. I love these. Next up are these rainbow ones. I believe they're supposed to be for pride. Now with everything going on and Disney's financial support of some of the don't say gay bill backers, I just want to mention like these are definitely and other things that Disney has released. Lots of performative activism going on. So I just thought I'd mention that I'm totally not in support of that bill or Disney's financial decision to donate to some of the people that are backing the bill. But I do have these rainbow ears and they are perfect to match any outfit because they're super colorful. And of course for pride, I do really love these ears. They are super cute, kind of subtle sequins. So they're not as scratchy, which is nice. And last but not least, I have these gold ones with black and gold polka dots for the bow. These ones are really nice because there's like a velvet part for the band and the sequins are just on the top. I think these two might be my top favorites. It, they're just so easy to go with a lot of the clothes that I wear. Definitely might be wearing either one of these on my trip. Probably these ones for Magic Kingdom and maybe these ones for Hollywood Studios. We'll see. And I guess I have some Mickey ears as well. These were from my program when I graduated from the Disney College program. They do this like food celebration thing and you graduate and then you receive these. I ended up customizing them in Magic Kingdom. So so I got this done. It says Cosmic Rays CEP 2019, which was when I did my program or my last program. I will not be bringing them. They're more just like a memory keepsake kind of thing. And another thing I did to prepare for my Disney trip was I did my nails. So these are them. I just did this mauve color. I've been doing gel nails at home. I did these cute Valentine's Day themed nails in February, and then I changed them up to these these Mickey polka dots specifically for my Disney trip. No one will be able to tell unless they really look at my hands. I know that they have Mickeys and I love them. It is the next day. I didn't do any more packing yesterday. Tomorrow is the day we're going to Disney. So gotta keep packing and get everything done. I ended up washing some of my makeup brushes just so that I can have clean ones ready. Hopefully they'll be dry by the end of the day so that I can pack them up. Otherwise, I'll just quickly do it tomorrow morning before we leave but otherwise I need to pack my makeup, pack toiletries, all that kind of stuff. I want to do my nails. I also want to wax my eyebrows because they're getting a little bit crazy. And then what else do I have to do? Probably just make a list of things I have to pack tomorrow morning. I like to bring my pillow, so that's something I got to throw in my bag and any like medication that I still need tonight. I will have to get together tonight or tomorrow. So let's get started. <laughs> 
Okay, in terms of makeup I'm bringing to Disney, I don't wanna run out of this and I have a new one. So that's the first thing that's gonna go in the bag as well as sunscreen for my face. I'm also gonna bring a foundation in case I want just some more coverage. I'm gonna bring this one and then some cream blush, cream highlight, powder. I'm gonna bring this as well to mix in with the CC cream because I'm just not tan enough yet to actually be the shade, which is kind of surprising but I'll mix that in if I'm just doing a CC cream kind of day. I'll bring my makeup sponge primer. This will be the concealer that I bring as well as some brow gel stuff. I don't use this very often, but I'll bring it just in case. Bring this lip scrub because my lips are exceptionally dry at the moment and eyeshadow primer in case I do eyeshadow. I'll probably bring both of these highlighters just so I have a choice. This hourglass ambient light powder as well. And I'll be choosing this bronzer. I'm gonna bring this eyeliner just in case. It's the black KBD tattoo liner. For lipstick, I'll probably be putting this one in. It's a ColourPop Ultra Blotted Lip and another of this uh, same formula, different color. And then this lip tint, this lip color, what does it say? Rum Punch, it is one from Tarte. And then I'll just do this mini Fenty gloss. And in case I want to bake under my eyes, which I'll probably do just cause it's, it'll be hot and I need as much setting as I can get, I'll bring the Maybelline Fit Me powder. I'm just choosing one eyeshadow and I think it's going to be this one. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Sultry Palette. It's the one I gravitate to the most, which is sad because it's limited edition and doesn't exist anymore, but I love it. And can't forget mascara as well. I I realized that I probably want to put some blush on top of the cream blush just to make sure it lasts. This is a powder one by Airbon. I really like it. It's like luminous and uh, has some highlight mixed in. It's nice. In terms of skincare, this hyaluronic acid is almost out, but I'm gonna bring it and use it to the last drop. I'll bring this niacinamide serum as well. This eye cream by Glossier. For oils, I think I'm gonna bring both the 100% organic cold pressed rose hip seed oil as well as my retinol 1% in Squally. I'm also gonna put in some of these makeup erasers. And now I'm just gonna go do my toenails. I think this color is the best match. I do gel with like cured with a lamp for my fingernails, but I don't like to do it on my toes. I think this is close enough. That's just regular nail polish. So I'm going to go outside and just get that done real quick. For shoes, I'm going to bring one nice pair. They're not too tall of a heel just in case we go to dinner or something a bit nicer, but who knows if I'll even get a chance to wear them. I'm going to bring these really inexpensive, pretty flimsy flip-flops, only because it looks like it's going to rain way more than I thought it would on Tuesday. These are my Birkenstocks that I'm also gonna bring. I don't love to get them soaking wet because I've had some that have been damaged because of it. So I'm gonna put these in my bag just to swap out if it's pouring. These are so easy to put in my bag. I'm also gonna bring running shoes. I'll be wearing them out of the house. So those will be on my feet when we leave tomorrow. I packed a spray sunscreen as well as a lotion. As well, I put my ears in this Disney bag that I have as well as my raincoat and my makeup in the bottom instead of this bag because I had to leave room for Anthony. Hopefully we'll fit everything in this bag. If not, I might let him borrow some space in this one or he can bring a backpack or something. Okay, I got my Haunted Mansion bag with all the essentials. Sunglasses, a wallet, some Advil, a scrunchie, my puffer, of course, chapstick and stuff is in here. I'm holding socks because I gotta put socks on. Ended up stuffing an empty purse as well as my ears and my shoes just in this bag so it's all easily together so we can just bring it up to the room like that instead of having multiple bags. And then we've got our sweaters, rain jacket, I've got some toiletries and my makeup in this bag. Mickey with all his expressions. <laughs> I packed my pillow this morning. I sat on the suitcase to get it closed. It is stuffed. Mm -hmm. 